Have you seen Joe's pants? Look, he's she had an extra pair of pants. That is really not legal. <laughs> wow. He's got a camel toe and everything. <laughs> There's way too much to see there. Look at that. The first two weeks is to get acclimated. Get it going, get it under control, and seeing where you're breaking down. A lot of times you cheat a little here and cheat a little there. Cheating's gotta go now. Cheating's gotta go now. Gym-wise, I'm working pretty hard. Nutrition-wise, I'm working like at, I'm doing like 70%, I'll say. Food is... I'm trying pretty hard, so. The nutrition plan these guys are on is actually really restrictive. Oh God, no, I, I'm cheating so much on my diet. I am eating Almond Joys, Reese's Cups. Number one, no fried foods. I don't care if it's a vegetable. It's homemade donuts have crossed my path, local beer, whiskey, deep fried Oreos, more whiskey, all of these things have crossed my path and I have said no. Number two, no processed foods. Weekends have been a little bit harder. I may have had a glass of wine or two. And just when I felt like I was getting into the groove of the diet, we had a dinner party. I was helping throw a baby shower and I may or may not have eaten part of a croissant. Number three, stay away from bread, pasta, rice, and white potatoes. But sometimes there's a thing on like the border. There were chicken nuggets that were made with like almond flour. Stay away from things you think don't count. Let me tell you, you cheat a little bit, you're actually cheating a lot. If you eat about 200 calories more than what your body needs every day for the course of a year, you'll gain about 20 pounds of fat. 200 calories is three chicken nuggets. I ate like 10 of them. She made these great little desserts, uh, these little lemon bars, like lemon custard bars. 200 calories is half a little lemon bar. I waited until people left and there was some left over and I was like, it was disgusting, like how like gross I felt myself. It was so delicious, but I felt really guilty about it. It was bizarre. Don't take any Ubers in LA because they all have candy and it's impossible to say no, especially to Almond Joy, that's my favorite. We've got 10 weeks here. Do not cheat, I see you. I see you. Starting today, I am I am gonna just eat perfect. What, what is this, week three? This is like my 17th day saying that starting today, I'm gonna eat perfect. So now in week three, I break it down to two body parts a day. Week one was like, energy! You know, week one was like, hey, this is nothing. Week two was like, ugh. Oh. Oh my God! I'm just losing my mind trying to keep up with it. Before it was like dragging myself to the gym and dragging myself out of bed every day. And week three is like, I'm here. Now I'm like, you know what, let's, let's put that up 10 pounds. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it. And now I feel like I have a lot of energy, which is amazing. When you've worked out and you fail, that's when you've done 100% in here. We take it to failure, we can't do another rep. That's really working. When you can just keep going, you're not working hard enough because now we have that next eight weeks and that's the eight weeks that you need to go from point A to point B. The next eight weeks is the work. I think that I'm working very hard. Juliana is working really hard, but she's not working hard enough. The first week, I was sort of half-assing my cardio and then I asked Steve last week, like, am I doing everything well enough? Like, I'm sort of an overachiever at heart. And I was like, is everything going right? And he was like, you know, you're not really doing your cardio very well. And when you do cardio with me, you do one minute where you're at a nice pace, and then you do a burst for 10 to 15 seconds. And that burst has to be an all out sprint. The whole idea is that you bring your heart rate way up and then you drop it down. Way up and then drop it down. So I've started doing my sprints like crazy and it makes a huge difference. By bringing it way up, we're burning calories at a really large rate, but we're also working those fast twitch muscle fibers, those sprint muscle fibers. So I've been really pushing her to work much harder on that fast twitch muscle fiber because I think she favors the slow twitch. He said it'll give you more energy if you actually go all out with them, and I think he's right. I feel like I'm not doing it wrong. How about that? At home, I can definitely work harder. My cardio at home, I don't know that good. Two, good, you're gonna bench up at the collarbone. That's what gets the pec from the top down. His chest is starting to develop, which 
is really big because his arms have been doing all the work for him his entire life. Everybody benches to here and we develop through here. That doesn't look right. You want to develop from the top to the bottom. When he did the declines, we got all this. When we pull these up, we get it all the way up. Bench press to the top. And these across works it this way so that we balance out the pecs. The pecs have upper, middle, lower, sides, insides. We want to make sure it's all framed out right. We don't want to overdevelop the middle of the chest because that actually looks fat on camera. Push, 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 push. Yeah. Stand up, stretch it out. Maybe yeah. get the first one on the next side. It'll look better. I wouldn't say that I'm getting more into it, but I'm less and less not okay with it. If it wasn't for the fact that you guys were recording all this, I would have quit like, like hour two, I think. Uh, hold it to your ear, level, and come out and then down. Oh my God. And then out back, and down. You got it. out and down. That's a cool one. Yeah, it's hitting the horseshoe part of the tricep, so it's really gonna cut up inside. So it's that extra twist, that extra turn, that's the difference maker. Joe came in here not expecting to see anything. I don't think he believed anything I told him because he kept looking at me like my dog looks at me. He'd go like this. And with the glasses on, I don't know what he's thinking. Now he's coming up to me, he's like, look at this, look at this. I'm showing off, like I'm doing this, everybody's like, check this out. And they're like, yeah, yeah, that's what a normal body looks like. I don't actually feel like I'm working hard enough. That is so weird. I clearly need more weight. Here we go, buddy. You ask, you shall receive. I can see a huge difference in Cruz. Well, I shouldn't have asked for the extra weight. He's actually in a really good mood, which from what I understand is not always what he's usually like. Hey, measurement day is upon us. If you've cheated, which is kind of easy to do, I'll know. I'll know. I'm excited to do the measurements because I weighed myself a few days ago and I hadn't lost any weight in terms of poundage. To be honest, like for the most part, my clothes all seem to fit the same, so I'm a little nervous that they're gonna be exactly the same. You know, I don't think that I'm gonna have that big of a difference body measurement wise. I've been avoiding thinking about that because I said this at some point that that like puts some sort of weird pressure on me that I don't wanna have, but they're probably different. I'm not sure about my arms or my legs or anything like that. I'm not sure if they've gotten bigger. I feel like they have, but I really hope they have. Cause all th at the end of the day, this whole thing, I just really don't wanna let Steve down. I just wanna work hard, I wanna do it right. I don't wanna let you down, man. You wore 212. We got the scale started at 212. 208, 204, right to 200 pounds. 12 pounds. So let's say three, four of that is water. The rest is real fat. And you lose a lot quicker in the first few weeks of a program than you do later on. Prince body fat came down from 25.1 to 18.9. That's a huge move. What? Arms go up for that. His around went down an inch. Slimming down. His waist went down two and a half inches. Two and a half inches? Two and a half nice. inches. So it's an inch and a half taper we just developed on him. That's what the measurements are for, to let you know you're going in the right direction. Cruz's numbers were ridiculous. I mean, off the charts. But Cruz is starting from the highest spot of everybody. This was originally a 329.5. 312 and a half. 17 pounds in two weeks. His body fat went down a good 9%. What? That's a lie. That's incorrect. That's your number. I don't know what to tell you. That's it. 51. Wow. His around went down four and a half inches all through here. That's an enormous amount of mass that's being changed. You lost 17 pounds. That's a, a huge amount of weight. Now I feel really bad that I didn't cheat because I would have been fine with like 15. No, 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 no. <laughs> Juliana, here's the issue, I believe. She's working hard, but not hard enough, number one. Measurements changed, she lost three quarters of an inch on her waist, her hips are down half an inch. These are all normal numbers, they're fine, they're good, they mean you're working out. But the numbers I usually get, as you can see, are much bigger jumps. Last time was 38.3. Really? 
Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. 32.9, 168 and a half. So your body weight is down 1.5 pounds, but your body fat is down 5%. In my experience over the years, when you have somebody, before every workout she's ever done, she'll go on this diet, on that diet, she'll work out like crazy and not lose a pound. That's a big red flag to me. That means you need to get a thyroid test. Really, really important. You can't just have a regular doctor look at it. You need an endocrinologist. Does this measure 16th inches? Because it might be necessary. All right. Joe is a skinny guy with a little belly. Joe is still a skinny guy with less of a belly. His around went up an inch because he had really, really no body fat up here to come down. So he put on an inch of muscle. That's pretty awesome. The V is happening. V, V me up. His waist went down one and a half inches. So he has a two and a half inch taper that's different. This is hard to get now. Wow. 15.3, big move. So his weight went up half a pound, his body fat went down. He's gaining a lot of muscle. His body will put on muscle quick, I believe. So it's real important that he eat enough, keep up with the heavy weights, because if he lifts light, we're gonna actually tear things down for him. Remember, skinny guys, eat regularly. You've gotta put those calories in to build the muscle. If I don't have the calories in, I'm not gonna be able to build the muscle. And don't forget to take the supplements. We wanna maintain the muscle and grow it as the body fat comes down. Branch chain amino acids, the BCAAs that we use, they keep our muscles from deteriorating as we're dieting down. Really, really important. So stick to the whole program. I'm watching. I'm watching. I've not dropped my baby, which is good. I, I only hold my baby on leg days. Uh, arm days, I just don't hold my baby and which is kind of weird and sad and mostly untrue. But point is I haven't dropped my baby. <laughs>